Sagittarius. And I can say that, Sagittarius, Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars. Welcome to the heart spread for November. It's a big time frame. This reads who's on your mind, who's in your heart. Um, corny as that may seem, using the ethereal visions of illuminated tarot deck. Maybe I should play along at home. A pre-shuffle. I'm going to have six pinnacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, even Steven Sagittarius, I like that. So let's see. Kind of count that lightly. What I'm looking at is you and your person. Um, get a beat on how you're feeling about each other. Some advice from spirit and advice uh, for the relationship as a whole if, if there is one a relationship um, and an outcome so this is you five of wands sagittarius where your mind is at and where your heart is at in and around relationships this is uh for this november time period always keep in mind sun moon rising and venus i should add uh sag energy um time is uh not necessarily a part of the reality uh, uh, where the cards uh, uh, tap into uh, your guides and angels how I see it but the 5D huh? but we're asking November and your person where they're at in terms of love and relationship judgment so I don't want to say this is the worst energy to come into a relationship with because I try to see this as a baseline and detach it from your person but it does imply that as you come in you probably had to defend yourself before um, and you could be just basically defensive and maybe even kind of offensive offensively to you know um, and these are actions um, like basically like triggery as hell let's say that Sag you come in just triggery as hell um, and very personal energy too, so it's personal stuff you're triggering about, okay? Now your person has judgment. They have major arcana, again, trying to separate them from you. Where are they at as a person? Um, so they're dealing with something heavy. Um, being called up by judgment, I think, is uh, in this position. And you got to think of it maybe towards a relationship. I mean, that might be a building feeling inside of them that it, were they single, maybe they want to find someone, were they in a relationship, maybe they become dissatisfied, because uh, you're being called up for something. Um, and it, it, to me, it's something kind of spiritual, or if not spiritual, soul work, you know, it's like, uh, because it could be something emotional, something we, it's usually something we don't want to deal with, and then we find ourselves having to deal with it, and um, it's kind of a heavy energy to come in. Uh, let's see how you're reacting to each other, uh, but I could see them, I don't know, it might just kind of bounce off of them because of where they're at. <laughs> I don't know, I go, let's see. But now, <laughs> amazing, excuse me, when, when but considering you now in relationship to them, how are you feeling about them? Well, ten of, pen, ten of Cups here, I mean, and that's the most lovely Ten of Cups, I mean. Um, so you uh, couldn't be any more into them and would feel like they're your Ten of Cups person, you know? Um, that's how that would, if this is your reading. Um, so you come in um, ready to fight, and I think like, Probably they receive you uh, in a way that was grounded or solid or they didn't really react to you, I think is what it was. They're kind of deep, you know, maybe they're deep because they got to be deep maybe right now. And maybe that, you know, you liked it. <laughs> it made you feel emotionally uh, grounded, emotionally like super duper grounded, super good I know this feeling like emotions feel really secure and good and look that might have been what you're wanting you're just coming in the reason you're acting like that is because you know probably this was taken away from you in the past and you know let's see how they're reacting to you real wands <laughs> so I think this has an, a little bit of a unique uh, interpretation here now because this I have to read with the judgment and, you know, it's kind of easy to see where you're going here. 
I, as I described. But it's like uh, this person, you know, part of the reason why they didn't maybe trigger you or they, they didn't, because they're just kind of lost in their own stuff, you know. They're in this like deep, uh, probably had a lot of hermit energy. Uh, and now when they're reacting to you, it's like you have their attention. And, you know, Three of Wands is very good energy, like the Three of Cups. It's not always uh, uh, even here about looking. It's about them kind of waking up to life and going like, oh my God, there's... And this energy actually may kind of have helped things because maybe, you know, you fired them up about something. You know, why don't you do this or something and uh, however the, they reacted um, and it's definitely an, an energy of engaging you um, and it's an energy of passion and I think is similarly you ignited their passion Sagittarius and you know they didn't really see that coming they were kind of in this energy um, and it's like you made them feel uh, Sagittarius see if this doesn't ring a bell like they may say to you respond to uh, you made them re uh, realize that they have a body again. Maybe you made them appreciate the fact that they have a body again, Sagittarius. Let's see. This is your advice. <laughs> you got to love this. Your advice towards this person is your own card. Here beautifully represented in its angelic qualities. Uh, I tell you straight up, you are surrounded by your angels. They're, that's why they look like wings, They're, that white light. They're surrounded by pure white light. Nothing but light comes to us. Nothing but light goes from us. And that's, I mean, this is a message from Spirit. This should be like a kind of special blessing. I kind of feel it myself. Um, and, you know, um, this is reminding us just do you, <laughs> just do you, do what you are, be the thing you are. Well, the Ten of Swords. So yeah, something's going to end for them, and this is the advice for them towards you. And uh, I believe this is like they have to release themselves from something. If you look too, you can see the similarities in the colors. You just see how those look together and how does it kind of make you feel. It's like uh, there's a storm on the horizon and, you know, there's pretty serious foreboding feeling. You know, if you know anything about terror at all, you'd just be like, that doesn't exactly feel too good. You know, you've got spirits rising up out of the land. You know, that's being called up. You know, they're, they're in the middle of a transformation, of a... Uh, up, upload, upgrade, ascension, energy, or anything like that, uh, for real. I and mean, that's why they, it was a lot to get their attention. And you get, and it's sexual attention and passion, but you get it with the uh, sincere uh, emotional energy of the Ten of Cups. So, and they like that, okay? Uh, maybe they kind of are feeling like they didn't realize how much they needed that in their life. Uh, emotional and sexual now this is the uh, crux of the heart spread down here as it begins to take shape at the core of the reading the tower card and this is advice from spirit there is no other way to read this it's telling you like the tower's coming and remember the tower has to come down and because it's clearing the way i gotta always think of it as uranus uh, it's, uh, I think, at 14 degrees still, Taurus, and uh, grinding away um, opposite my Venus. Um, but it's that energy that something's going to come down. And, you know, it's coming between you, uh, Sagittarius, your own sign, temperance, feeling perfectly whole and balanced, knowing that there's no red flags. This is your advice from spirit. It's a real go card for you and whoever this is you're thinking of, Sag. Um, so whatever happens here, it's going to bring this relationship together. That's how I'm seeing this. And it's mostly going to probably be with your person. Yeah, I have to tell you. Um, 
but it's something that's necessary because this is advice from spirit for relationship as a whole and spirit's not spiteful and uh, it's not like it's any anything's making this happen it's just, it's just saying that you'll look back on this years later and you'll see that whatever happens here happened for the good of your relationship where you have the Emperor as your outcome card in this heart spread, Sagittarius. Um, this could well be an Aries person you're with, um, but you're going to end up in um, pretty much the most solid kind of marriage uh, you could be in, Sagis. Um, and that's what's going to come. You can see now the heart takes shape and uh, the tower here comes under the emperor um, and it's just making way and it really to me when I see the emperor's outcome too it implies a couple that's really stronger together than apart you'll be in your sinistry too in your astrology um, you'll see where you kind of bo you, you make each other feel better about yourselves you make each other feel stronger uh, you you know uh, you can maybe be more creative and more abundant uh, together than you are separately um, and be very supportive relationship too and you may have an Aries in your composite chart as a couple do let me know I'm kind of working that theory with some of these readings when I see this uh, if, the, if it relates to the composite here the heart spread outcome of the given if you know your person's chart though would appreciate that so and do check out soul family read I'll put a link for that to collect and read for whoever resonates more about spirituality manifestation um, and uh, we also do uh, the uh, singles read if you have any friends that are crazy single uh, tell them to check that out thank you guys